Five. We begin tonight with a guilty verdict in the Henry Dinkins murder trial. He's been convicted of murdering and kidnapping 10-year-old Briaja Terrell in 2020. A Scott County judge found Dinkins guilty of both first-degree murder and first-degree kidnapping. He is now in the Scott County Jail ahead of his sentencing next month. Judge Henry Latham read the verdict just after 9 o'clock this morning. News 8's Nina Burns was in the courtroom. She begins our continuing coverage with the judge's decision and verdict after the three-week bench trial. After multiple long, grueling weeks, we end this trial with the family saying justice is served. But not before Judge Latham spelled out why he reached a guilty verdict. Throughout this entire trial, we've heard the defense say the state built a case off of circumstantial evidence. But Judge Latham reminded us the court can use common sense. In considering the evidence presented, the court makes deductions and reaches conclusions according to reason and common sense. Facts may be proved by direct evidence, circumstantial evidence, or both. Key players in this trial, Judge Latham addressed during his verdict include Aisha Lankford, Briasia's mother, DL, Briasia's younger brother, and Dinkins' biological son, and Andrea Culberson, Dinkins' then girlfriend, whose apartment DL and Briasia spent the night at. All of this was further supported by the testimony and statements made by Aisha and Andrea. That theory is Henry Dinkins took Briasia from the bed she and DL slept in that night, drove to his RV and sexually assaulted her. When he realized she wouldn't keep the secret, he decided to execute her. Coming back to the apartment at 3.30 in the morning and rummaging through a closet, Judge Latham stating the court finds beyond unreasonable doubt Dinkins was searching for a gun or some other object to kill Briasia, announcing his verdict. The court finds the state has met its burden of proof in this case. The court finds beyond a reasonable doubt the defendant committed murder in the first degree. After the verdict, we spoke to Briasia's mother, who says she and her family plan on laying Briasia to a proper rest, not the way Henry Dinkins left her. With photojournalist Brad Mosier in Davenport, Nina Burns, WQED News 8. All right, thank you, Nina. And tonight at 6, we break down Briasia's younger brother's impact on this trial. Dinkins' sentencing hearing is October 11th. Our team coverage continues with News 8's Joe McCoy, who is following reaction to today's verdict. Yeah, he joins us live near the memorial in DeWitt, where Briasia was found. Joe, you were with the family hours after the verdict. How are they feeling? Yeah, certainly mixed emotions, John. I'm currently at the pond in DeWitt, where police found the body of Briasia Terrell nine months after she went missing. There's actually a community member here right now putting down flowers to honor Briasia. Briasia's family came back to this pond this afternoon after the judge delivered that guilty verdict. They certainly were somber, but I also could sense a large feeling of relief. Justice for Briasia! More than three years since Briasia Terrell went missing, justice, in a legal sense, was served. There is no amount of justice to do that can compare to what he took from me. He took everything from me. He took away a lot from me. He took a, a lot from me. He broke me down and he took a lot. Briasia's mom, Aisha Lankford, flanked by loved ones as they add to Briasia's memorial near where police found her body. Today makes 1,163 days that we've been waiting for something. I feel like I won those lucky lottery numbers because, oh my God, I feel so good. I feel so, I feel so relieved. Aisha feeling like her life can move forward. I felt okay when he got to reading it off and, you know, he's saying guilty and I'm like, okay, so now I know I can breathe again because he took that away from me to be able to be comfortably to move around and be able to breathe. And now I can breathe again. This trial had so many twists and turns, John, from being delayed twice and then being moved from Scott to Lynn County and then back to Scott County after Dinkins waived his right to a jury trial. I really could tell that Brasia's family was so happy to have this chapter over with and now they can move forward with their life without having to worry about Brasia's killer being on the loose. John. Police Department is also weighing in after the verdict. Police Chief Jeff Bladel says the case has been demanding for his department over the last three years. He says today's verdict should also be a reminder for our entire community. Today is about Briasia, and I think we need to, as a community, pause and not forget uh, Briasia and what brought us here 
uh, today. This was a horrific, uh, tragic um, crime that, was a, that occurred in our community. Again, a Scott County judge has found Henry Dinkins guilty of the murder and kidnapping of Breasia Terrell. Sentencing is set for October 11th. You can watch the entire verdict from this morning on our WQAD YouTube page. And you can also see our complete coverage of the trial on our homepage of WQAD.com.